night screams. Who would steal the corpse of the slain stranger from the cool grave where it rested? What weapon was used to put it there? Where was the trail the Durman clues? Why would the only witness choose silence rather than, than tell of the crime that a tortured man repeatedly admitted guilt to? The only lips that could answer sealed themselves in a pledge of revenge. No silence developed the new grave on the sandy hill. There was a beat of rain, the scraping of a spade and a wet sail, a blood-freezing howl of a lonely bog baying nearby. That dog, why doesn't it stop? That cursed howling, I'll kill him, I'll kill him too. Fred Kane did not find sleep the rest of that stormy night, for he was haunted by a tortured conscience. He faced a grim decision difficult to make and impossible to escape from. I shouldn't have shot that wretched dog, but he's howling as if he knew the secret of that grave. I can't go on like this. I gave myself up. I got to, got to. Sheriff, I came to confess. I shot a dog last night. It's a strange animal, I believe. Shot a dog, Fred. But why? Did the critter attack you? No, no, he just howled and howled. He knew I'd killed the stranger. I had to kill him. He knew where the grave was. Fred? You don't understand. I killed a man. I don't know who he was, but I killed him and buried his body on a sandy hill. Come, I'll show you. Yes, I think you'd better... Now get control of yourself, son. Rain kept swashing sand away. I had to shovel and shovel. Here, here's where the grave is. Empty, but it can't be. I killed him. I killed him and buried him here. You're just upset over killing that dog, Fred. You must have imagined the rest. Dead folks can't walk away, you know. Sheriff Walker had been attending to the law for many years. He knew others who confessed to crimes they never committed. Some had a purpose. Most were sick in their heads. This he feared was a poor Fred Kane's trouble, and that was out of his line of business. Come along, old man. You need rest. No, I did it. I swear. Arrest me. I'm a murderer. I'm willing to pay for my crime. I know you since you were a boy, Fred. There is no badness in you. You shot a dog, but that's no heinous crime. Now go home and get some sleep. You don't believe me. I'll find the body. Then you'll know. No, I won't. I won't waste time looking for that body. I got proof, proof, and I had a witness who didn't, why didn't I think of this before? Bonnie, strange that she didn't go to the sheriff, perhaps she wanted to protect me, she loved me, I knew it, but she couldn't protect me, I have gotten to pay, I killed a man, I must pay, I was playing when she know how I feel, Bonnie, Bonnie, Donnie, open, hurry, I must talk with you, Bonnie. As long as he could remember, Fred had loved Bonnie. His present torture was because of her, and now it seemed that she finally loved him too. Else, why didn't she report his crime? She had been a witness that n- night, dreadful night. What are you talking about, Fred? You know Bonnie. You can tell me, tell the police sheriff. He won't believe me. I don't understand. You went, what might? What stranger? Tell the sheriff what? Don't pretend, Bonnie. I confessed. Fred Kane, what's the matter with you? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Bonnie. Don't defend me. I'll pay you for what I did. Look, I've still got these. They're their uncles. And now they're my clues. And you, Bonnie, are my witness. What are you trying to invent? There's my uncle Spade and Sack. I didn't like games of this type, Fred. I don't intend playing them. Now, please leave. I don't know what's the matter with you. But you'd better try to sleep it off. But I killed him. You know I killed him. Not far down the country lane, Fred encountered Bonnie's ankle. He could he would see the truth. Fred blotted out his strange story. Come with me, I'll show you the grave. Grave? What kind of joke is this, Fred? It looks like a grave, all right, but no one's in it. Do you take me for a fool, Fred? Hear my story. It was the other night when I went with her. In town, I went to visit Bonnie, and 
I saw two people on your porch. I didn't know who you were having company. It looked like a man, a woman. They, I, uh, then I thought I could make out Bonnie's voice. You said he's so close. Couldn't imagine Bonnie sitting like that with another man. I moved closer to make sure I heard him talking. I've been waiting so long for you to come, darling, and take away me away from this awful place. And that idiot Fred. I walked all the way down from town to shorten the time until I saw you, Bonnie. I didn't meet a soul, but I loved some town. I won't, don't blame you for hating it, but I love you. No, no, she belongs to me. She's my girl. Fred, don't. I didn't mean to kill him, but he's dead, and I'm glad. You're trying to take your way. I can't steal, can't steal your love now. You'll pay for this, Fred Kane. You'll pay dearly. You'll never forget. I'll never forgive you. Never, never. Got to bury him. Now, now you know that you can't steal Fred Kane's girl. And that's the truth, Mr. Belaine. Every one of it. Never heard of Bonnie speak of a stranger that she, that was calling her. Young man in love. Get fanciful ideas, son. You could just left your imagination. Well, enough for you. Now forget that whole thing. Okay? You too? You don't believe me? They don't believe me. But I know it's true. I know I killed him. What shall I do? Life had turned into a nightmare for Fred Kane, the repentant killer who sought punishment, but this only lashed in his own conscience and disbelieved by his fellow man. Bonnie saw me. She was there. I don't know what, what, who he was, but I killed him. I got to be punished. I killed him. Murderer. I got to make Bonnie remember. Here she comes. I'll make her, I'll make her so go with me to the sheriff if I have to. Don't hide, Fred. I know where you're there. You'll be coming with me, Bonnie, to the sheriff. Let go of me, you fool. You're crazy. Oh, I will be crazy if you don't help me. You saw me. You knew I killed a man. Take your hands off me. I hate you. Yes, I hate you. I loved him. You killed him. Oh, I saw it. You were all right. You were right. But I never admit it. You'll suffer more than this wave of your crime. A weakling. Tell the sheriff that. Tell him, Bonnie, please. Please, Bonnie. Never. No one will never know the truth. But you and I, that is my revenge. The spade and sack, I bring them to the laboratory. I prove it. You don't have you don't have them. I stole them from your cabin and replaced them. Duplicates. I don't forget a single didn't forget a single thing you fool. You do what that to me? No no, you killed a man I meant man I loved. Destroy you by me, making you live the memory of your crime. You thought I loved you, but all the while I hated you. Your suffering is just beginning. Someone will come looking for him. Then the truth will come out. No one will seek him. He is no family. He came from New York to get me and marry me. But he's a stranger there too. No one who looked for him. I took his body and hid it in another grave. That will be my secret forever. You tell the sheriff. You can. You will tell this to the sheriff. I'll strangle you. I can't go on like this. You won't kill me, Fred. Can you? Because you're weakling and because you love me. It's true. I do love you. That's why I killed him. I know now what I must do. Goodbye, Bonnie. Forgive me for your spoiling your life and taking his. Fred Kane decided his own pun- fate. Same punishment he might have received had well anyone believed his pitiful confession. There it is, done. Now I pay for the dreadful deed I committed and find peace at last. Things won't be were different if I hadn't been such a fool. I dreamed of love and life, but now... Quick! He just kicked over the chair, Bonnie. I was right. She warned me. He might try this. She saved you from him from, from death. Fred Kane couldn't escape by mere death. Bonnie and fate chose another way to punish him after, after day after day in the asylum. We could tell his guilt and plead his... tell and plead his guilt... And not ever once he be believed by those who bothered to listen. 
There he goes again, the poor chap. I killed him. You must believe me. She knows she saw it. The end.